forbidden rice with tempeh. Hi guys, and welcome to another Veg Inspired video. Today, we are going to cook up one of our chip and kale plant-based meal delivery service meals. So these are great. They come in this plastic Ziploc bag, frozen. So, and they have these awesome directions. So here's step number one, step number four, step number three, and step number two. So everything's labeled. The instructions right here walk you through it. Uh, a piece of advice, I always go ahead and read the instructions first, sometimes even before thawing it, just to make sure I have enough time to make the meal. This meal should be ready in about 30 to 35 minutes. Most of them are ready in under a half an hour. Um, I get everything out that I need in order to prep the meal. So this, these instructions call for me to rinse the rice. We cook a lot of rice, so we just happen to have a rice rinser. I will put the link in this description below. It's really great, really easy to use. You just dump your rice in, and then you can kind of pour. I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna rinse the rice. That's step number one, with bag number one. So you just pour your, now everything from Chip and Kale comes pre-measured. So this is all pre-measured. So then to rinse it, I just, Kind of fill it with water. Get it rinsed off. And then you just can dump it and the extra water runs out of these holes right here. So that's really cool. And then we'll just put it in our pan. Now we really like forbidden rice or black rice, it has a lot of the same antioxidants as berries. So we often use this, um, you know, in place of white rice or even brown rice sometimes. The Veg Inspired Chef likes it a little bit more than I do, so he always wants it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do, according to the directions, we're gonna add two cups of water that I already pre-measured out. And then I'm gonna light the stove and we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then move it down. It stays lit, so we're gonna add our pan. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. Okay, so we bring it to a boil. We lower the temperature to low. Check to make sure our light's still on. And then we cover it and simmer it 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so this is our new field skillet cast iron skillet. You can see it's nice and smooth. It's got water in it. We just rinsed it out a little bit. We are loving this. It's super easy to clean, has a great handle, and everything that comes out of it has been wonderful. I'll put a link in the description below. This is the number 10. We'll let the skillet heat up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to add number two. Number two is the tempeh and it smells delicious. So it's going to go in our hot skillet. So our tempeh is nice and toasty. Now we're gonna add bag number three, which is the pre-cut peppers and onions. Just love that these are so easy to use. You just dump it in. Did I mention how much we love the skillet? I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Just to keep it from sticking, we're gonna add a quick splash of water because the rice is not quite done yet. It's an easy way to cook with less oil is to just use water to make sure things don't burn. Our fourth and final step is to add this sauce to the skillet and then we'll let the rice finish cooking. We'll serve it over rice. Get 
everything nice and coated. How does it smell? It smells awesome. Have I mentioned how much I love chip and kale? We thawed this the other day and now we're gonna have like a gourmet lunch in under 30 minutes. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And it's super easy to store in the freezer in the RV and it's super easy to cook and clean up in the RV. So we're absolutely loving chip and kale. We will put a link in the description below. If you've never used chip and kale, there's a 15% discount if you follow our link. Mmm. All right, everything's ready. So we're gonna spoon out our cooked forbidden rice. Chip and kale makes about two to three servings. So it's perfect for a couple or even a single that wants leftovers. Maybe a family with small children that don't eat this, it would be great for them. And now we'll top it with our tempeh, peppers, and that delicious sauce. We love how easy these chip and kale meals come together. It's simply 30 minutes and we now have a delicious lunch of forbidden rice, peppers and onions and tempeh in this deliciously topped sauce. I know that because I had a piece already, but let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This is really great. If you want to check out Chip and Kale, I'll put the link in the description below. We do have a 15% off coupon or 15% off link if you're a first time user. The nice things about Chip and Kale is it's not a subscription, so you get to review the menu each week and place your order and then it's shipped to your house on ice already frozen we love it if you like videos like this where we review products and other vegan items please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this adventure videos recipe videos hit that little red subscribe and until next time eat more plants live veg inspired and have a great day